Hey, good morning, YouTubers. This is Elaine coming at you. And good morning to you. How are you doing today? Uh, got my coffee. Have a few minutes before work, so I thought I'd stop in and chat with you for a moment. And um, just sh uh, show you some things. Uh, well, I have my lunch packed. And I usually take, you know, um, a lunch bag like this, right? And so what do I have in it today? Well, um, I made an egg. I have two, I made two organic eggs, right? Uh, in containers, right? I split them up. So this would be my breakfast. My one egg uh, with a half a banana. And then I'll, and then three o'clock, which is a three o'clock snack, I'll eat that, the other egg, and a banana. Okay? So I have for lunch, I have some pink salmon that I'll be um, making, and um, probably I'll get some kind of vegetable, uh, maybe at the cafeteria at the hospital. And I uh, just want to show you a product that uh, I got at uh, Trader Joe's. And um, this is what I have been putting in my water. Uh, so I like to drink uh, 60, 60 ounces of water a day. And we have a water cooler at work. So I usually fill this up with ice. And then I try to drink two of these a day. And so that's, that's what I drink along with. Uh, maybe I'll drink like two cups of coffee. Um, and then I will have um, maybe a cup of green tea or something like that. Or maybe I'll have just one cup of coffee and one green tea. It just depends. Um, and uh, so I just wanted to tell you that, um, you know, um, I just want to uh, let you know that, um, you know, this is my journey and uh, this is my channel. So a lot of times I incorporate some other issues that I, I feel the need to discuss about me personally. So if you don't want to hear about my life or uh, my tri tribulations or some of the things that I've been thinking about just you know just like tune me up right um, you know because I like to incorporate some different uh, topics of discussion uh, that I think that are important uh, on this journey and uh, but I do appreciate your time and I do appreciate your responses I uh, changed the format up a little bit so um, you know, the, the comments have to be come to me to be, be approved um, if you say anything and, you know, I just think that it will be better. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, so um, just wanted to uh, say that um, I have been experiencing some difficulties uh, within the um, hormones that I've been taking. I stopped them. You know, I, I'm kind of upset about it because I really liked the way what they were doing, but they brought on that visitor again. And um, so the visitor has taken me not to exercise, as you know what I mean, um, because it's really bad. It's really, really, I don't want to get into too many health issues, but you ladies, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Uh, so I haven't been able to exercise. Um, I haven't been feeling really well. Um, like I said, I have been experienced a lot of those side effects that we know that, you know, come along with the visitor. Um, and uh, I've been feeling kind of crappy, to tell you the truth. So um, I'm kind of like hanging out hanging out. I um, haven't been able to exercise, which bothers me um, because I'm doing this training. I want to, I want to, I really, really want to, um, you know, do these races come 2014. I want to compete. I want to see what I can do as far as um, within my age group. I'm excited about that um, because I feel really healthy and really strong. Um, this journey has taken me um, to a place where I didn't think I'd be able to get to. You know, before I was, I got all this weight off, you know, this 50 pounds, I was feeling really, really tired and just like old, right? My legs were hurting, my legs would swell up, my ankles, they would swell up to like this big at night because I held most of my weight in my legs and my hips, my bottom half. So that's, that's where um, a lot of my uh, weight 
and, and my problems, my back hurt, I had a lot of problems. So, uh, you know, like, I would never take any pain pills. Um, you know, I, I, I've been in healthcare for a long time, okay? And with every medication that you take, believe it or not, believe it or not, there is a side effect. Yes, there is a side effect. So when you, when you, um, when you fill that prescription and that pharmacist gives you that little folder of the warning and side effects, you should really read that, you know. You should really educate yourself on the medications that you're taking, the side effects that could happen, and just the ingredients, just the ingredients of the medication itself, okay. In my field, in my field, do you know how many patients that I call that have, I ask them, because that's part of my job, I ask them, um, what kind of medicine are you taking? They have no idea. They just take the pills blindless. Oh, I'm taking something. I'm taking a white pill. I'm taking a blue pill. I don't know what it's called. They don't even know how to spell it. They don't even know how to pronounce it. I mean, hello, this is your body. This is, you got to take responsibility for your body and your health, okay? Because if you don't take responsibility for your health and your actions and know about your diseases, research it you're going to be in very big trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you can't, you cannot rely on anyone else to take responsibility for your health and your health conditions. So, what I'm saying is, is what I'm saying, and I'm saying this because I know, I know, okay? Research your medical condition. Don't take, um, your practitioners and your physicians word is gospel okay because who is the best interest in mind who's best interest right because I'm telling you in this day and age it's called corporate greed corporate greed and profit everybody wants to profit off of somebody else and make money there's there's no there's there's no um uh you know like they say the Hippocratic Oath, you know. I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but that's gone. That's gone. A lot of physicians today, and, you know, I might get a lot of backlash, you know. They're in it because they want to make money. They want to make money for themselves. They can make it a lot, a lot of money, right? Because if they really, truly wanted to help somebody, they would go, like, on the Indian reservations, in, in other countries where they don't make it. But everyone wants to come to the United States so they can make a lot of money in practicing medicine because there's a lot of profit to be made, you know. Because people are vulnerable, you know, because they're sick. They're, they got diseases and stuff like that. And they can make all this money because they get kickbacks from pharmaceutical companies. They get kickbacks from, you know, um, reps, pharmaceutical reps, they get kickbacks from other physicians, they get kickbacks from doctors, they get their little bonuses, you know, I see it, I see it all the time, and, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's kind of sad, because if you're sick, you're vulnerable, you're vulnerable, because you're sick, and you're reaching out to these people for help, they're just really just trying uh, to, you know, make profit for themselves. So you might want to think about that, you know. Uh, keep yourself healthy. Think about what you're ingesting in your body. I, I watch a uh, really good program. It's called, um, here it's called Dr. McCullough. And he's a, um, he's a, a physician. He, he, he um, brings in a lot of guest speakers who are in uh, health uh, natural natural health, uh, you know, because these doctors you gotta realize these doctors. You know, there's there's been a controversy between medical doctors, DOs, and uh, DCs, doctors and chiropractors. Okay, there's three different. If you don't know the definitions of those three different doctors, MDs, DOs, and NDs, uh, doctor nature doc, doctors of nature path, which is 
the holistic doctors, you know. So there's always been these tiers and there's controversies between them. So, and they practice medicine differently, okay? They practice medicine differently. So, you know, over in Europe, over in Europe, you know, a lot of physicians, they don't want to practice medicine over there because they don't make a lot of money. They don't make the $300,000, $400,000 million that they make over here. Um, yeah, so you might want to think about that. That's another thing. So, you know, investigate, research, uh, you know, on diseases that you have. Uh, a friend of mine, um, I ran into a person and... Uh, you know, she was afflicted with a um, skin condition. And uh, she got the skin condition when she was, uh, I think, uh, somewhere around 19 years old, 19 or 20. And it was brought on by, um, you know, an event in her life, a very stressful event. Now, whether or not she had the skin condition, like in her genetic background, who knows? You know, it could be from stemming from her grandmother's side, from her father's side, or stemming from her mother's side. But as far as I know, her mother's side don't have it. So, you know, the father's side is kind of sketchy, um, you know, what goes on in that background. But I, I there's, there's could be some people on the mother's side. But, um, but what I'm saying is this girl, um, she has um, a lot of tattoos on her body. Now, I know I might get a lot of backlash uh, from people out there that have a lot of tattoos on their body, but me personally, you know, I don't want any anybody's needles in my body, okay? Any ink on my body because, you know, first of all, who's to say? They say, oh yeah, we sterilize those needles, right? How do you know? How do you know that they sterilize these needles, right? How do you know that the training that they have is correct, right? That comes out of my eye. How do you know that? You know, I stopped getting my nails done. I used to get my nails, I used to get my nails done, but I stopped it because I caught the manicurist. She's supposed to take the the bag, um, the autoclave, the autoclave out of the um, out of the uh, autoclave, you know how they wrap it in a package. She was sneaking it out of her um, out of her drawer, so it wasn't being sterilized, right? So that's a law. That's a law. I stopped. I stopped going there, and no matter time and time again, I would go to another nail salon, and they would try to do the same thing. So, you know, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, you know, but there and again, you know, maybe because they're lazy, maybe because they want to cut back on some utensils, but, you know, like I was saying, getting back to the tattoos is, these people, how do you know that they are doing the right thing? I don't want to take a chance. I don't want to take a chance with my health, okay? Plus, I don't want any needles. I don't want any ink in my body. You know, if it's fashionable, maybe I'll get a temporary tattoo or one of those pasties on or whatever like that, you know, if that was my thing, if that was my gig, if I, you know, that's something that I liked, but no, 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 I'm not getting any tattoos because I don't want any hepatitis or any of those kind of diseases. So now she's got this, this skin infection, you know, and, you know, and then she just went to another doctor because she had uh, some kind of, um, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, problem with her back. She got in an automobile accident, and um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm recording. No ranting, are you? No. Oh. So she um, did you hear that? Yeah, he asked me if I was ranting. So I guess I guess he he my husband was looking on my channel. So hey. If he wants to look, go ahead. Um, so yeah, so um, anyway, uh, yeah, so she um, she had a problem with her back. She was hit, um, I think she had two accidents or something like that from the rear end. So, And she's pretty young. She's a pretty young girl. She's only in like, you know, less than 30 years old. So she's got all these back issues. And, you know, I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, this girl is, you know, 
like under 30 years old and she's got all these medical problems, what's going to happen in her life if she's taking all these medicines? You know, they're giving her, you know, all these painkillers, all these narcotics, and, you know, I guess, I guess, and whatever medicine she's taking, you know, and all these medicines are, you know, who knows what they're doing to your internal organs, right? And then, you know, she hasn't had any kids, so if she has any kids, you know, and she conceived, she's going to pass this genetic thing on to her kids, right? Because we really don't know how diseases are passed. And most likely it is, you know, passed on genetically. So, you know, you got to think about that. You really got to think about that, people. So, um, yeah, so who knows? Who knows about tattoos and all those things? Me personally, I don't want any of that stuff. I, I just think, you know, all that stuff is, you know, it's unhealthy and, you know, um, I just think it has an impact on your health, really. So, anyway, it's your choice, it's your life, but not this girl. Mm -mm, I watch everything now, you know, everything that I put in my body because, you know, I, I try to keep myself healthy as possible. So, thank you very much for tuning in and have a good day. See you next time. Bye.